the, also we can see here, this is the adjust the control panel. We can take it out. Here, we can take it out. For, for using, we can control the top roller, heating roller, up, down. This for up, this for down. Up, down motion. And also we can put it back for using. So this is the control panel for the top pinch roller. Okay, now we start to load the film, ABC film to the printer. So first we put the film A. This is the film A. Film A, this is the back side, this is front side, top side. And film C is at top, protection film, with the film. The film A is for printing. So first we put the roller that the whole film, film A with C to the printer. And then we can adjust the position at the left and the right. And also we can adjust the tension. We must be sure the tension is close. Is tension enough, strong, not loosen, left and the right. We must uh, Lock it. Adjust position. And then we put the film A with the C by this position. And then go to top. And then go to the protection pole. And then go through. To the table like this, and then we move to front, and we take out this, push down. Then the film, check the film, go here, and then go to this position, like this, then go to this, then go to the top table. When we go to the front side, we can see here the film go to this table. When we open the table, we can see here this is the vacuum reception table. Have vacuum fire at the bottom. And here we have the pinch pieces metal to protect the film bending to scratch print head. One at the left and one at the right. Okay, then we go. When we go to the table, we can see here. Here is the sensor at the bottom. It's for paper detect sensor to pro to detect the the film. So when there's nothing to cover it, then the printer will stop printing. We will show error that lack of film material. So we must be sure the film must be covered to this sensor, and then. Go to front, like this. And from here, we can also see the left and the right, the pinch pieces, pinch metal to protect the film without bending up. Then we can start to remove the film here. When we remove from the top, we can remove, then we start to remove, peel up peer out the top film C from top. Then we pull out. Then we can see here is film C. This film C is for not using, not for printing, just for protect the film. Then we move out. Like here. And then we can we can see this the film A with glue at top. Then 
Okay, now we can start to power on the printer. We connect, we connect power here, and we power on the printer. And we keep emergency button is up. And then we power on the, the boot button here. Then the machine is power on. Here we can see this for adjust the vacuum volume for the subsystem for the table. We keep to maximum. And when we push down again, push down for one time, it was the temperature setting for front. Again, it's for right, for, for rear. So both we set to 55 degree. Push again, and then we adjust to 55 degree. And here is for the lamp, it's a switch for the top working, temp working platform for this switch. This is the working lamp. Okay, after we power on the printer, and then we can move up this lower. We push down, check if the motion is okay. Then see, we moving up. Moving down. It's okay, not more. When we must check the motion is okay, then we moving up. The maximum. And then we go to load the film again. We pull the film to the front. I drop it. Load the film, go through in another jaw. Go through the the laminator, the front a little bit. And then we adjust the position. We must be sure the edge is same gap, not bending like this. Must straight. We must be sure the edge is checked at the left and the right side here. We keep we keep the edge is checked left right side and the same tension. Then we go to the button. We keep left right same same tension and same edge. Then we press button. Okay. Then we start to load the film B. This is the film B. And then we put the loader tension loader inside. And then. We connect, we open first, we, first we open this cover, we open this cover, and then we connect, connector with connector, then we go to left, go to left side, right side, we push down, and then we close it, for both sides, and then we okay, adjust the tension. Be sure it's kind of normal moving, and we can see the film B like this, and so we like this. Okay, then we pull up the film B to top like this, Action. to make a stick with the same edge at the middle of the film A. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, 
look at this. So I see again, the film B go by this way, and then we go by this way, then go to the here, stick. Then we go back, we go back to pull out the waste film here. The film C, we go here, go through at the bottom over here, and then we pull out. stick on the surface on the metal like and then here a switch here we need to open it you can see a switch here we need to open it and we pull out Open the knob to top like this. We stick to this film, and then we adjust the, the edge of the film C and film A. Same edge with the same line. So let's see again. The film A go to top. Then the PMC here go to the bottom here and then go to roll up. Okay, after we put the top PMC film B, the film B here, film B here, go to top. Then go to here and stick with the film A and be sure the edge, same edge. And then we pull left, right side with the same edge, same tension, like that, flat. And then we go to this button and pull. Make sure to make the rubber moving down and no gap at the left and right side, as this. Then we go to the control panel. Okay, so after we already load the film B, go here, go here, go out. Then we move the left pinch metal pieces at the top of the film A to protect the film edge without bending to scratch print head. Left, right, same. Be careful, we, are not, we cannot touch these pieces. We can see here RAM sounds coming out because we touch the anti-scratch anti device. We can, if we, by this way we can go to the computer and we release it. So after we load the film B on the top of the film A with a sticker, then we can go to control panel, replace fit. <coughs> to make the film coming out with laminator. You can see the film coming out. With laminator. So this step first we load about one meter less to the paper take up device. We just keep press the paper feed button. Then the paper the film A with film B with the laminator, finish, then go to front. Pull it. Right, front, front. Now, 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 now. 
we make, we make it a little bit longer. Then we, is it? How do you say it? Then we go to stick on the front, take up ruler. We can use a tap to stick it like this. Then we can keep press feed button here. So on the film when it touch the sensor. And we open the switch here. When it detect the sensor here, then the load are moving. So we keep loading a little bit. You can see the it's rolling up. It's rolling up like this. We keep load of film to front. They will be rolling up. See here, it's moving. It's finished. Then we adjust the gap to middle. So the paper feed up, we are installed. So here is with film B with A together. So this is the whole procedure to install the film ABC to the Fox Star Fire 62F, 62UV UV DTF printer. After we load the film ABC to the printer, then we can start to do the next step, load ink calibration like that.